Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's Spur video update. Doing Jamie Wednesday for this Spur uh, update. So uh, we're going to have a look at the Jamie season model for the next three months. It's going to take us through May, June, July. So into the early to middle part of the summer, though just a little bit short of the overall summer 2023 uh, period. And uh, we, I'll get on that for you in a moment. This is ahead, of course, of the second summer 2023 season model roundup. That is going to be Release on Saturday morning. Um, so we're going to get 15 one five long range models from all of the world's leading forecast centres. See what they're all showing for summer 2023. Uh, on Saturday morning, for only the same time this uh, season. And it's going to be epic. It's going to be an epic watch. But, um, of course, the Jeremy get a lot of information from as well as we've got another 14 to go through. And the Jeremy will be included within the season one round. But that's got 14 other models to get through. We won't have time to drill down into the uh, minutia of the uh, detail of the models. So we do that in a separate video. And uh, I shall get on with that for you very shortly. Just to say that first, a video say was our 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. We've also uh, released the ECM WF Extended USA forecast as well. And we've got a 10 to 14 there with all of the regular features coming up for you later on this afternoon. So if you could, please like, share, subscribe on our videos. And we thank you so much, everybody, for doing that uh, for uh, Gaz Weathervid. Well, you're having a lovely Wednesday as well. Right, let's crack on then with Jeremy Wednesday. Why not do it? Um, no, uh, we've got the uh, 500 mm of our height tonight from the Arctic uh, North Pole view down for May, first of all. So this is the North Pole uh, just here. We've got the wider Arctic Circle around them. And of course, we've got the mean latitudes through here. So yellow, orange, and red extrapolating to above average heights, which is high pressure. Um, blue to below average heights, which is low pressure. So the month one, 500 millibar height and height for May 2023 looks like this. We've got a trough of low out in the Atlantic to the west of uh, France and also Spain and Portugal. We've got an area of high pressure centred across Eastern Europe, but the ridge does extend further westwards as well. So in between below the Atlantic and that ridge to our east, we could well be bringing up a lot of southerly influences there, I think. So maybe quite a warm May being indicated with that, but possibly a little bit on the volatile side. If this trough of low uh, it gets close enough to us. That could bring some wet weather in from off the Atlantic and might also deliver some, um, uh, the trigger for some heavy showers and bursts. So a warm but volatile uh, May potentially. Now June looks very different. Uh, so this is month number two. We get low pressure around Greenland, Iceland, and in the North Atlantic, high pressure then uh, going southwards. So this looks like it's reverting to a westerly, a return of westerly is the uh, in June. Obviously, the, dry, the driest weather would be in the south, close to the uh, ridge of high pressure. But overall, I think that could be quite an quite unsettled June being signalled there. Um, so, uh, a traditional sort of return of West East June monsoon type uh, pattern may be setting up there in month number two. And then July looks like that. Much more of an anti cyclonic signal in July. Below pressure weakening and being pushed away to the northwest. Um, higher pressure developing just generally across much of northern and western Europe. Actually, could bring a lot of dry and settled weather, I think, through July. Potentially quite warm, or maybe even another relatively hot July. Wouldn't that be a turn up of the books? I don't know, <laughs> do you? Right, OK, let's drill down and have a look at Chugga Mid. That's your view, Ben. So we can't see the Arctic, North Pole, Greenland, Scandinavia, Iceland, all those areas off the chart. Up here, however, we've had a look at that view down, so we know br br broadly what's going on. Uh, UK and Ireland in the top right hand corner of the chart as you're looking at it. Reminder of the month one 500 mil of our height, and only with that trough of low pressure just out to our west. And then the ridge of high pressure actually centers a long way to the east, but sending the ridge over towards the west side of Europe. So we thought maybe uh, May could be like a southerly, southeasterly type month. With wind coming up from the south. How's the temperature anomaly looking? A little bit above average. So it's average to a little bit above in those pale cream colours there. So perhaps about half a degree above normal, something like that. Nothing excessive. It does look a little bit unsettled though, with above average, maybe surprisingly as well, but above average precipitation. 
The uh, wind flow does look southerly, so it's always a job to make out these black arrows, but you can see that uh, the wind looks like it's coming up from the south here. If we come over here, you can see those southerly ears as well. So I reckon, you know, southerly winds, quite warm, therefore. Warm of them, I would assume, warm of them, the model is indicated. Could be a very warm May, but also potentially rather on the volatile side, indicated by the above average rainfall. So potential for a lot of heavy showers, maybe uh, thunderstorms as well. Could be quite an exciting May. Into June, and we can't really make it out because it's a bit far to our north, but you can just see this blue area here. So uh, that's low pressure coming back in the North Atlantic with high pressure going southwards. This looks like a traditional sort of westerly June return of the westerlies there. The temperature anomaly for June, again, it's about uh, average to ever so slightly above and um, above average rainfall being seen for June as well for the UK and Ireland, especially further to our north. The wind direction in June is either west or northwesterly, actually. So you see the black arrows going in that direction, just there, they're northwesterly. But as we come into the UK and Ireland, they kind of veer westerly. Actually, there might be a little bit of a northerly component, though, to those westerly winds. So June could be quite a cool. And unsettled month there, I think. Not the best start to summer 2023 with uh, the JMA. And um, then we go through to July. And this looks a lot more anti-cyclonic. So we could start to see some higher pressure building close to the country. And also away to the east. We probably still bring up a wind from a westerly direction with that. But more of a southerly component, I think, to those uh, westerlies this time. So that should be warmer, but um, again, could be a little bit mixed, especially for more northern areas. But temperature only remains ever so slightly above average, not a particularly big deviation. And um, the precipitation, I mean, goes drier for the south, but it's still a little bit wetter for Scotland and Ireland, actually, with Wales turning a bit drier. The wind direction for July uh, looks like that. It's still a little bit westerly. Actually, with both black arrows, especially so to more northern areas. But if we come down here, you can see the wind direction is actually very variable. Um, no, it just depends how far north that high pressure gets. But potentially July could be a drier and a, a warmer month. So I think we've got like a potentially very warm, I would say a very warm uh, southerly May, but also could be quite wet and thundery with heavy showers of both storms. I think we could be shaping up for quite a cool wet June actually uh, with this um, and you know sort of west northwest is and plenty of low pressure in off the Atlantic and then July could be a much drier and warmer month especially so further south. So that sounds really missed, but that'd be my interpretation. Anyway, let me know in the comments what you think about that interpretation. But that's how I would I would read this. So rather mixed, and uh, that's the most exciting month is uh, May. Actually, if you're a fan of convection, and who is and who doesn't like a good thunderstorm? Whoa, whoa, whoa! I don't know. Um, right. So that's it then. Uh, remember, we will be doing the second summer 2023 season one roundup. Um, at the weekend on Saturday morning, we will get 15 long range models, including the JMA, together and we'll see what they're all uh, showing for summer 2023. So you'll find out how many of the other models are agreeing with this uh, sort of prediction from the JMA on Saturday morning. Uh, we're going to be back very shortly with your 10 to 14 there, which will include all our regular features. So make sure you check that one out. But for Jeremy Wednesday, um, taking us from May to July 2023, that is all for now. And thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.